now that you have created some solid objects let's say you want to add some additional design where you want to cut out some portions of your existing design to give it some interesting shapes for that what you we usually use is called extrude cut so let's start with that so what we're going to do first is let's say create a new sketch on this plain one okay uh, what i want to do is use the previous sketch we have so if you select this upside down triangle of the previous feature you will be able to select this sketch okay now we will use the offset entities option from the sketch and create something a little smaller than what we had on the initial one okay let's say let's make it 50 15 is too small let's say maybe five okay this looks good five and click okay okay so now we have a new sketch so to cut away some material from this existing hexagon uh, we can do play around with a number of options so let's go into the features tab and select this option called extruded cut okay so we will extrude our object or the sketch we have designed and cut away portions that we don't need select the extruded cut on the left property manager you will see a number of things okay but the, uh, for the first thing it's this, this direction button okay this is similar to what you had on the extrude boss and base you can select in which direction you want to cut here you have all the options on up to which surface you want to do so or not let's see if you want to do it till this surface or maybe through all from one point to another um, depending on you so for this one uh, this is similar to extruded boss and base uh, but for this one what we're going to do is we're going to do a blind of let's say 60 millimeters okay so right now the way it is cutting is you have uh, drawn this hexagon here and it's going to do a solid cut all the way through till this 60, uh, 60 millimeter yeah so once you have done so if you click ok you will see it has cut exactly the design and on the inside right okay um, we can have other options too so i'm clicking ctrl z to get our original feature back and i'm gonna go back again to extrude cut this time what we want to do is hey uh, we just want to make a handle so we don't want to cut away anything inside we want to cut everything on the outside so what we're going to do is select this option called flip side to cut if you do so now it will cut away only the outer section of this uh, new sketch you've created so click ok you will see it has only cut away the extra material from the outside okay okay again i'm just pressing ctrl z to get our original features back again going back back to extruded cut okay and similar to extruded boss and base you can always add a draft let's say i'm adding a draft of five millimeters or oh, sorry 10 degrees and as you can see it will cut away inside of it in a certain degree you can do that or you can also select this one draft outwards so it will cut away in a drafted manner so from inside till outside but now it will create a disjointed object uh, maybe for a solid single object we might don't want to we might not want to have that uh, but i'm just showing you that that is also an option okay um, you can also have this thin feature right where you will create a certain thickness and that's the only amount of, of that will be cut away from the material so now it will cut away only this portion of it so if you click ok oops click ok you will see it has only cut away that portion of it okay 
just to show you from one of the angles. As you can see, it has only cut away the portion of the two millimeters that is required or that you've added there. Okay, click OK and we can cancel it. Let's click Control Z, going back, go to the feature, extruded cut, uh, select it. To, uh, I mean, if the sketch was somewhere around here, you can also select a direction too to get a, something cut away on the other side of it. So it's similar to extruded boss and base, everything. Just this option, what it does is cut away, or cuts away things from uh, the objects you have selected based on the design you have, okay?